a sea lion with his head arched back and bobbing. He's basically having seizures. We're seeing effects on the marine ecosystem that we haven't seen before. I think it's scary. I, you know, when we start seeing marine mammals suffering from these toxins, they're not that far in the food chain from us. Hey everybody, my name is Derek and I'm concerned about climate change. Rolling Stone recently published an article with the headline, The Point of No Return, Climate Change Nightmares Are Already Here. I wanted to draw out one of the issues discussed and compare it to some of the recent headlines, specifically regarding the dangers posed by warming waters to the ecology of the oceans that we depend on for food and air. At the base of the ocean's food chain are the plankton. They serve not only as a food source for larger creatures, but also as one of the prime sources of oxygen in the atmosphere. The number of plankton has been on a marked decline in recent years, which is scary enough, but the Rolling Stone article cites a study led by Stephanie Dutkowitz at MIT that shows that acidifying oceans caused by increased carbon in the atmosphere can throw off the balance of the plankton population causing significant changes with profound implications for other species that depend on them. This paper only focused on the pH of the oceans though, and when you combine this change with warming temperatures and increased land precipitation due to human-forced climate change, you get a serious recipe for disaster, and that disaster is starting to show up in other news headlines right now. Here are two quick examples. Right now on the Pacific coast of the U.S., there's a persistent blob of hot water that's stuck right up against the coast. It's essentially what's driving the California drought, but it and ocean acidification are two possible drivers of a massive toxic algae bloom that now stretches from California to Alaska and beyond. Scientists there have never seen a bloom this size, ever. Algae is a kind of plankton and this particular kind is called Pseudonychia, and it produces a neurotoxin called domoic acid. That toxin is so prevalent in the water now that it's forced the closure of crab fisheries and moratoriums on clam harvesting in the region. Domoic acid is so prevalent that it's affecting the large mammals in the water. Second example, hypoxic or dead zones in the ocean. These are caused by shifts in the plankton population and it creates a region where so little oxygen exists in the water that many species cannot survive. The Rolling Stone author described nightmare scenarios where hypoxic events, driven by increased precipitation and agricultural runoff into the oceans, choke the life out of the oceans and drive massive sea and land-based extinction events. Well, another recent headline shows that Gulf Coast scientists have been shocked to discover a massive dead zone there, much larger than last year's, which was expected to shrink in size this year. However, with climate change having driven increased precipitation in the watersheds that spill into the Gulf, more fertilizer runoff from human farming activity was washed into the sea, feeding the kinds of algae that create these zones. These are just two examples from several possible examples of the worst case scenario for the oceans and therefore for all life on the planet playing out right now in front of our faces. We don't have much time left to take meaningful action on carbon emissions, action that must include a ban on future fossil fuel exploration and the imposition of carbon pricing on the market. If we don't do these things, we are facing a future in the near term that will be hell on earth for us, but a warm little paradise for nasty little things like poisonous algae. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, do so now. Then share this video with your friends. Help us make people understand that the danger from climate change is not in some remote future, it's here, it's now, and our generation, not some vague future generation, is in serious, serious trouble.